2012 PGA show. I'm at one of my favorite booths ever since last year when I first discovered Kicker Golf. And I got my buddy James Lepp here and we're gonna talk about what's happened in the last year with Kicker and what some of the new products are. So James, uh, uh, I, was, I was really thrilled to, to see your product at first and, and uh, to see that now that a year later it's a big success and, and it's just a buzz and huh. so, Let's let's hear about the products for those who aren't familiar with them. What what the concept is, and then let's take a look at some of your sure. new stuff. Well, kind of how Kicker started was basically turning a typical skate shoe from the West Coast to California roots and turning it into a golf shoe because that's the style that we usually wore off the course. Um, so we took that kind of skate shoe upper and outsole look and then turned it into a golf shoe. So it's a pretty simple concept at its root, but uh, nobody was really doing anything like this when we started about three years ago. Now you see a lot more shoes on the market that are doing stuff like this. Um, so we've been trying to stay ahead of the curve. Uh, this is a shoe that we have coming out this year, just a classic look. Um, and it's our Tenny model, which came out last year actually, which was really popular. So we rolled through with that one, very comfortable. And like I said, that classic look. We also have uh, in the Tenny, the Khaki Crusader model, which is a nice tan suede with the blue hits. And then this coming year, we came out with a new outsole system. Uh, kind of a different look than what we've done in Kicker in the past. A much more athletic look, kind of has an indoor soccer shoe feel, especially with the gum outsole. And we did this uh, vector board traction system, which is built specifically for the swing. Uh, it's kind of like having bear claws on the bottom of your feet. Wow, that's intriguing. I can see that there's a, a yeah, definite... a unique design to it, and it's uh, all with good reason on how the golf swing works. And you have this very sharp edge that actually has undercutting, um, which gives it that claw feel so that when you're pushing off your right side, you are really engaging into that turf and, and resisting all the forces that want to have that foot spin out. And same thing in the follow-through, it's going to resist you from spinning out as well. So, Do you have an issue with right-handed versus left-handed on No, that? it's, it's how, how the swing works, it's kind of uh, interesting that the forces kind of mirror each other. So that the same design on the right shoe will be the same for the left shoe and, and achieve all the okay. traction that you do need. So it's, uh, it's really cool. Very lightweight, uh, definitely our lightest shoe. I believe this one is 290 grams, uh, ounces, I'm not sure on the conversion. Yeah, I'd have to get my conversion Google, Google table will do yeah. that for you. <laughs> but uh, very lightweight and uh, a narrow last, so you're going to have a really uh, tight fit, which is what soccer shoes should feel like. And for golfing, athletic sport, you want to feel secure out there with a nice tight fit. And then we did a little something here this year with the wing tip. Um, one thing I remember in our first year saying we would never do a wing tip that's so golfy, but I was yeah. thinking about it. You know, Kicker, we we uh, we encourage change, but we also embrace history. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> we kind of did this cool little spin with the with the wingtip toe. It kind of looks like your classic golf shoe upper, but then you throw it on that vulcanized looking outsole, and it just produces a fashionable yet trendy new age look. So yeah, I pretty, like it. I, cool. I I like the combination of, of it looks like a, co a combination of a wingtip. Foot Joy icon with a, a Converse and a, a, flare, and a yeah. yeah or something yeah it's that's pretty cool fine, but it looks pretty good yeah so, and um, I guess I could show you this one too because no one's really doing this and this is the uh, the high tops that we're coming out with this year so this is just one oh of the I models. see. <laughs> um, no one's really done this before. There's and no you've got the same uh, the same treads on that one. Yeah, same tread as the two outs also. Then we got this all white one. Pick it up carpet. That's how good the traction works. It. It's hard to pick up carpet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I imagine you get people just buying these just to wear them around town. Oh, I've been wearing, you know, wearing them here in the uh, in the booth and around, and they feel great. They're lightweight, like the uh, the other tour outsole shoes have. Um, and just a cool look. You have to lace yeah. them up, and you get the traction that I was describing earlier. So, and lightweight again, it's great. One of the things. Very nice. Well. I am a big fan of uh, skate shoes, as you can probably see. Yeah, I'm yeah. wearing some. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, James, I'm glad to see you're you're just you know moving right along, and and uh, I'm happy to see the success, and I'm happy to you know see it grow, and and just more power to you, man. I'm I'm happy for you. All right, thanks a lot, Tony. Okay.